Padre Pio and the Souls. I am Pietro Di Mauro. I died in a fire on September 18, 1908. The man in the black cloak told Padre Pio, who, like Nicholas, was lying on his cot to rest one evening in the monastery. The man said he had lived and died in that particular room during the period the monastery had been appropriated for use as a home for elderly. Padre Pio asked the man what he wanted. I am coming from purgatory. The Lord has allowed me to come to ask you to offer for me the Holy Mass of tomorrow morning. Thanks to this Mass, I will be able to enter heaven, he said. Padre Pio agreed he would. He saw then the man out of the monastery, at which time he said he became fully aware of having spoken to a deceased person only when, going out to the churchyard, the man who was beside me suddenly disappeared. I must confess that I re-entered the convent somewhat frightened. Padre Pio told the story to the monastery superior, who then went to the registry office in San Giovanni Rotondo. In the records he found Pietro di Mauro's name and the cause of death exactly as the soul from purgatory had said. The saintly friar shared another story about the time he was alone one evening praying in the choir loft. He spotted a young friar at the main altar, apparently dusting and arranging flowers. Since it was supper time, Padre Pio called out, Fra Leon, go to eat. It is not the time to dust and set up the altar. I am not Fra Leon, the voice answered, identifying himself as a friar who had done his novitiate there. For obedience, I received the task to keep the main altar clean and orderly during my year of probation. Unfortunately, many times I was disrespectful to Jesus in the sacrament by passing in front of the altar without revering the Most Holy One kept in the tabernacle. For this grave omission, I am still in purgatory. Now the Lord, in His infinite goodness, sends me to you, so that you may determine how much longer I must suffer in those flames of love. Help me, he appealed. Saint Pio told the soul from purgatory he'd have to remain there until the morning mass. You are cruel, the souls shouted, screamed, then disappeared. That wailing created a wound in my heart that I have felt and shall feel all my life, recalled the saint. I, who through divine delegation could have sent that soul immediately to heaven, condemned him to remain another night in the flames of purgatory. Lessons for us We may never see or hear a holy soul from purgatory, but we learn what to do from the encounters saints experience. Have masses said for the holy souls there. Our family, friends, those abandoned in relation to what Jesus told Faustina, offer up an annoyance without complaining, like standing in a long line in traffic or the supermarket. Pray a rosary for them. Say short prayers like, Jesus, have mercy on the souls in purgatory. Remember what we heard as we grew up. 
offer it up for the holy souls in purgatory.